Oh yeah, this is happening. Shut up and sit down. What's up guys? We're doing it. Jason here, Morph Mixology Reptiles. Welcome to the channel. I'm just enjoying a few, a couple of days here of really, really nice weather in Montana. It's about time. It, it, I am so tired of snow and the ice. Unfortunately, end of this week, nine more inches. So we're almost done with winter though. Um, so I'm just gonna start this video. Just a little, it's gonna be a quick one. The first video obviously, just to explain the channel and, uh, and what we're gonna be doing with it. I wanna make a point too before we get started that this channel, myself and my wife here at Morph Mixology are a, by no means experts at any of this. Um, I'm starting to learn through this process and, and you'll see that in interviews and whatnot that there really is no wrong way to do this, to do ball pythons, to do breeding, whether it's setup, substrate, you know, back heat, belly heat. It, there's so many controversies and arguments out there, but there's really no wrong way to do it as long as the animals are healthy and happy and productive. And that's really all that matters. So the first thing to remember is most of what is expressed here is opinion. And to a lesser extent is opinion derived from some level of, of trial and error and experience on our part, albeit very little. And from another level, of support and advice from other breeders that have been doing this far longer than I have. So I just want to put that out in the beginning. Don't take anything I say for gospel. I'm just going to try to help to bring my amount of learning that I've done over the last couple of months and from here forward to you guys and kind of condense it all into one place. Taking input from all over the country from different people, different climates, different environments, different rack systems, you know, frozen thawed, live, pre-kill, mice, rats, ASF, although ASFs are not legal here in Montana, so we won't have any of those, to different kind of caging in tubs and, you know, should you get uh, clear tubs, gray tubs, DIY with melamine, plastic, uh, ARS, Freedom Breeder, TGR rack system, I mean, the list goes on and on. So I just want to make that clear that this is not a cut and dry, this is what you should do, this is the right way, the wrong way. Um, it's purely just my experience through this whole process. And I'm learning just as long as you guys are too. So if you see something that you're not sure of, that you don't think might be right, what have you, or you have other suggestions, feel free, put them in the comments for sure. Hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, whatever, and just let us know. I mean. That's, that's how we all grow and learn together. That's the point here, is for this channel to be for everybody. I want, I want people that have been doing this for 15 plus years to come in and be like, awesome, a fresh new, fresh new face, good enthusiasm, I like what they're doing. Look at they're doing all their DIY because they can't afford multi-thousand dollar racks yet. Who cares, it looks like it's working really well and they're producing amazing stuff. And I want new people to come up behind me and be like, oh man, you know, this husband and wife team that went from nothing to producing awesome animals in a couple of years, that means it's really possible and there is more room in this in this hobby for all of us. You know, it's not dominated by the big dogs. It's not dominated by all of the basement breeders. Just because there's a guy that lives down the street from you that produces as well does not mean there's not room for you in here as well. That's why we're doing this. So what's the channel gonna be? That's what you're probably asking. Um, I'll be honest with you, I'm asking myself the same thing because this is new. This is new to me. The only videos I've ever done have been short ones on Instagram and a couple of live streams with some breeder friends of mine and some unboxings and that's it. But a bunch of you guys that have been following us on Instagram and Facebook and that have been saying the last couple of weeks, man, I love the live stream videos, I love the talking, just the, just the raw nature of your style, we should get some YouTube. And so I started talking to some of the YouTubers out there, the more common ones. I've gotten a lot of help from, uh, from Brian Cusco and from uh, Miguel Garcia, Always Evolving Pythons and Triple B TV and Brian uh, Cusco and his uh, personal channel. So shout out to those guys. If you haven't seen them, go check them out. I mean, I'm sure you have. They're some of the biggest in the game. Obviously, I've watched uh, Brian Barczyk's channel 
since the since the beginning and, and whatnot. And so I, I started reaching out trying to figure out what should our channel be, what should it look like, how frequently should it be going on and whatnot. So from now, we're probably gonna plan on one video a week. Uh, I don't I gotta figure out how this is gonna fit into uh, my schedule, my wife's schedule. We both have full-time careers. She's still going to nursing school. Um, so we gotta figure out where that's gonna fit into our schedules. So we're gonna do one. It's not gonna be a vlog necessarily. Um, I wanted to make a point to bring you guys along, bring uh, other breeders, uh, aspiring breeders, first-time keepers, whatever the case may be. I wanna bring you guys along with us on this journey from no way, afraid of snakes, not having them in the house, you can't, because I was afraid of snakes too, by the way, less than six months ago. Um, going from that perspective of not at all to a basement breeder, so to speak, and hopefully this year, and some of the DIY tricks and we're using, some of the rack designs that we've been building. We're gonna do tutorial videos, time-lapse videos of uh, the wrap, the rat breeder racks, the hatchling racks when we start building them, setting up the incubator. It's already up, but I don't have any egg boxes full yet. Obviously, I won't have eggs till this time next year, but the incubator is ready. And when I get a second one, maybe we'll do a video on that. Uh, travel vlogs, going to meet other, other breeders and YouTubers and whatnot. Um, interviews, I'll do interviews at shows. We're going to Tinley this October. If you guys are gonna be there, drop a like and or drop a comment down below. Let me know you're gonna be there. We'll get you in the, the video. We'll probably do a couple of days of vlogging there. Uh, so we'll have back-to-back -back videos for a couple of times, just some extra content. But yeah, we're just gonna kind of be a, a one size fits all DIY from the ground up. Follow us, join us on this journey and see how it goes. Fingers crossed. This time next year, we should have eggs, and hopefully, uh, that means hopefully by, uh, probably right after Tinley, we're planning on putting our first pairings together. Looking at probably 10 or 11 pairings this year. So that'll be exciting. We'll take you through that whole thing, through the pairings, through watching for ovulations, brelay shed, sheds, eggs, setting up egg boxes, getting, uh, getting hatchlings, stuff like that. Um, we'll be talking to a lot of, of uh, other breeders, both big and small for their input some help on ideas um, hoping to meet some of them in Tinley obviously we're gonna be doing some videos through through their booth some of the cool stuff they're working on in that but yeah it's it's everything from it's so yeah it's everything from the ground up honestly that's the best way to put it um, and that's not a, a I'm not taking that from you guys out there at Port City Pythons. You know you are. I listen to your podcast. If you guys don't, Port City Pythons puts out a podcast from the ground up. They do interviews with other breeders and, and stuff like that. Excellent podcast. Um, if you're looking for more media, by the way, I'll throw this in real quick before we go. Uh, obviously, like I said, from the ground up, Port City Pythons, that podcast is fantastic. Uh, Bullshit podcast by Sean Bradley uh, from Exotics by Nature. It's it's a little bit more rough and tumble, but I, I like Sean a lot. He's a good dude. He's uh, obviously made some incredible animals, and the show is fantastic. Um, we're actually hoping to be on that one here before too long at some point. So that'd be nice to talk to Sean. So one of the other podcasts I do listen to is from Chris Eaton at Eyeball Pythons. It's called uh, Snakes and the Fat Man, and it's fantastic as well. Totally different style from, from uh, Sean's or even Port City Pythons. Uh, he plays music in his as well. He's kind of an old school indie underground music kind of buff and whatnot. So, uh, and he's got that that New Yorker edge to him. So the stuff from Chris is fantastic. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna be. We're just gonna kind of wing it one video at a time, once a week, and take you through this journey with us from from nothing to hopefully some some level of production and success. I have, I mean. I have no desire to catch guys like Justin Kabilka and whatnot, but uh, if I can make some cool stuff here at my house in Montana, then heck, why not? So stick with us. We're going to keep rolling, and we're just going to go from there. Like the video if you did, dislike if you don't. Put in the comments why either way so we know what we're doing. Do it right, do it wrong, do it better. and. Uh, like, head on over to uh, Instagram, Facebook if you don't already. Morph Mixology on both. Um, shirts are available on the website, morphmixology.com slash swag, along with stickers, 
And we're hoping to have some other stuff up there too, kind of going along with the theme, if that's not obvious. Um, they're not martini glasses, those are way too hard to deal with. But stay tuned for what we're doing with that. If you like what we're doing, let us know. If not, let us know. And as always, well not always, this is the first time, but as it will be from here on out,